The new thriller in the land of saints and sinners out tomorrow inhabits a world of violent 1970s Ireland. Liam Neeson plays an assassin who desperately wants nothing more than to retire. That is until a ruthless member of the IRA played by actress Carrie Condon uses his quiet village as a hideout. Take a look. You should be minding your own business if you know what's best. You know Fimber? Never had the pleasure, but I will. Mr. Murphy has done something. Something unforgivable. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm going to kill her. We've got no advantage. Joining us now is the supremely talented, multifaceted Carrie Condon. You like that? That was should I add supremely something more. Talented. Thank supremely you. talented is good. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so much for for stopping by and talking to us. Um, last year, the, the Academy Award nomination for your role in, in Banshees of Inisherin, where you played sort of a bookish sister opposite uh, Colin Farrell. Now, in 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 the land of saints and sinners, your character um, is downright sinister and vengeful and violent, um, and loud. It's like complete opposite of that character. I'm wondering how difficult is it to go from one to the other and which is more fun, more fun to play. Um, it's not that difficult going from one to the other because there's a gap in between. Like if I had to shoot them simultaneously, mm. that'd be a bit of a nightmare, but there's kind of parts, different parts to all of us. You know, I suppose there's like sensitive parts to all of us and then anger parts to all of us. So I just sort of tap into those parts of myself and amplify them depending on the role. Um, so you could find some of yourself in each of those characters? Yeah, absolutely, because I'm not a trained actress. I mean, I just learned on the job. That's how I learned to be an actress. I didn't go to drama school or acting, and I was kind of inspired by people like... River Phoenix and mm. actors like that who sort of are just truthful and sort of portray like an honesty. It, this, the complexities of the IRA, the troubles, simply being Irish uh, in, in this movie, I'm wondering if, if sort of the fight for independence, all that surrounded everything that you were doing affected how you played the character. Do you know what? It, it didn't because a part of me didn't want to portray this person as solely a member of the IRA. This is a person who is deranged and angry and aggressive regardless of her political views. I, I sure. try to pick, play on the idea of like somebody who aligns themselves with a political cause and believes in it initially, but then sort of their own personal anger and hatred and all their own personal stuff sort of takes over. The film's backdrop is breathtaking. Oh, it was so beautiful. And I'm from Ireland, and even I was like, you oh, are. my God, Donegal <laughs> is fab. It was kind of like being in a Terrence Malick movie and a Disney movie at the same time. It was just wow. so beautiful. Yeah. That's a great description. You've starred in Martin McDonough's movies, um, plays in London. Your resume is really incredible. Um, Better Call Saul, a lot of people know you from without the Irish accent, uh, the voice of Friday in various Marvel films. Any specific type of character that you haven't gotten your hands on yet that you would be interested in portraying in the future? No, loads of people ask me that. And I was saying today, I was like, I don't really sit around thinking about my career. Do whatever you know, comes. Yeah, kind of a more in the moment and whatever comes my way. And uh, But I will say, like, playing the villain was really fun. And I can see why the action movie genre, you can get kind of, you can stay in it. Because I was like, it felt like being a kid. I was like shooting Liam Neeson right, with a gun right, right. and peering around a corner. Like, I felt like I was a child. Right. So there were, it was a fun aspect to it. Um, the, the cast is all Irish. Just want to yes. follow up with this. You've got Jack Gleason, Kieran Hines, Liam Neeson. Um, I'm wondering, because you're from there, is there something about being Irish that turns out great actors who can really do nuance well? You know, if you think about, like, the history of all the literature in Ireland, there's amazing literature that's come out of Ireland, so there's always, like, a history of st storytelling which Rich maybe culture. suits us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Carrie Condon, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Loved the movie. Um, in the Land of Saints and Sinners opens Friday in theaters. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.